This video is about Skype, which is Microsoft's low cost domestic and international phone service. It has been discontinued. And if you're not a Skype user with Skype credits, you can skip this video without any loss of information. We're going to go over the process that Microsoft support gave me to access Skype online so that I could use up my existing credits. First, I'm going to do a brief history of what happened as they closed down Skype. This is as best as I can do from the emails they sent me and from what I found online. Uh, the online version of Skype is very minimal and it only allows for voice calls from a list of your past phone numbers. There's no names, can't send pictures, anything like that. Uh, I'm going to use screenshots and my personal information has been scrubbed for obvious security reasons. Legal disclaimer, this information is offered as is. This is what Microsoft gave me or at least what I heard and it has worked for me but you are solely responsible for ensuring its correctness and applicability of use and by watching this video you agree to these terms and if you don't please stop the video now okay on with it in mid-december 2024 i found the option to buy skype credit was gone from the app weeks later i got an email stating that skype was going to go to a monthly subscription which Okay, a lot of software is doing that. It's inconvenient for me, but it was something like $3 and something, so not a big deal. April 8, 2025, I get another email saying they're retiring Skype and that I could migrate to Teams. Well, that didn't thrill me because I've heard from my wife and son, who both use Teams, uh, that it's really their last choice. They'll use any other service other than Teams before they use Teams. In a quote from that email, after May 2025, those with active Skype credits and subscriptions can continue to enjoy these paid features and use the Skype dial pad from the Skype web portal. That's the browser version and within Teams free. Well, yeah, uh, I tried the web portal. It didn't work. I tried Teams and I couldn't find any landline or dial pad functions. So I'm not quite sure what they were implying here, but yeah, I don't see it. May 3rd, 2025, another email said I could use up Skype credits via the web portal. I tried it again and it said I had no credit, you know, therefore it doesn't work. I gave them until June to work things out. I tried the portal version again and none of the info from MS or online boards like Reddit and those other places worked. Uh, then in July, I finally got through to Microsoft Skype chat support and the following is the process I got from them. It worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. Full disclosure, I have been, and I'm a small shareholder of Microsoft stock. I don't think this video is going to do anything to bump the price of their stock, to say the least. So step one is to open Edge. They don't recommend using other browsers. Step two, you go up here, you click Update, and then you click New in Private Window. And next, you're going to see either a tab up here or you're going to see a uh, window open up down here and that will depend on how edge is configured on your machine mine opens a new window so we'll see that down here rather than a tab up here so this is what happens it pops up to this window next and then we're going to go up here to update click update up here click settings down here then we're going to come over here in this new window and we're going to open click on privacy search and services and that will open this window then we click on clear browsing history yeah i know there's a lot of steps to this you choose what to clear that's right here click on that so i was told to check all of these boxes now if you check like the password box and all that and you use edge a lot it's going to clear out all that stuff and that's very inconvenient so maybe you want to try the minimum first I just did it all because I don't use Edge, but anyway, I clicked them all. And then you hit clear now. If, uh, if it doesn't work, if you click a few of them, it doesn't work, then you come back and repeat the process. So now you're gonna go to open that in private window or tab. So it'll either be up here or down here in my case. And then you enter this URL right there into your in private window search bar. So then you hit enter and you will come to this screen and I'm going to go over this screen twice because uh, I messed it up in chat, even though she kept telling me it is your Skype screen name, not your email, but the, uh, the browser kept auto filling it with my email. 
So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to warn you, this is not your phone or email. Like it says here, it is your Skype screen name. Okay. So we fill that out. We click next and then you should see this new window right here and it will say we'll send you a code to your whatever.com to verify your email enter it here so you should fill out this email right here and then click send code and they're going to send a code to your email so you should see this verify window then go check your email and that is the email that you entered in this last screen right here so go check your email open the message from Microsoft and then enter that code. They'll have a one time use code right here. Then this screen will pop up and you'll either say yes or no. I chose yes. Uh, then you either click on next or skip for now. She did not tell me the steps for next. So I'm going to recommend skip for now because that's what I did and that's what works. And then this will pop up and this is the screen that will allow you to burn up your Skype credits. It is again very minimalistic. Uh, your name will be up here, the amount of credits you have left. There'll be a list of phone numbers only. Now I took these phone numbers out for security reasons and I just entered in fake numbers, but this is exactly what it looks like. So it is very stripped down, but it should allow you to make voice calls and burn up the rest of your Skype credit. Okay. So I hope that's useful to those of you who have uh, Skype credit and have not figured out yet how to use them. I hope this works for you. Okay, good luck.